afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey. Tom Nappy alongs alongside Larry Sacklad, Matt Clark on camera. It's 1-0 Hopedale taking on 1-0-1 Hopkinton. The Hillers so far this season defeated Medfield 3-1 and tied Denham at zero apiece. Hopedale has defeated Uxbridge 1-0. And we are ready to get things going here at the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. Temperatures in the mid-70s. A beautiful Monday afternoon for Hillers Field Hockey. And here we go with possession on the near side is Nora Hodgins. It's stolen away by the Hillers as oh, that, Alyssa Souza gets in there. That hit her body, so it's going to go the other way. Hopkinton, Hopedale won the toss, so they got the control. So ball, ball touches any part of your body. The other team gets it. Liz Kane puts it off the stick of Carly Smith. Back to the Hillers' side we go. Pass by Hannah Ionelli. Over to midfield, Sarah Doyle. Pass up along the far side. And it was briefly intercepted, but taken back by the Hillers. As there to collect was Megan Muldoon. And Muldoon with a misfire there, but gets the stick under it this time. And the Hillers with an opportunity. Driving in, kicked away by the goaltender, Piper Hampsh. Piper Hampshire, terrific athlete for the Hopedale Blue Raiders. She'll be attending Duke University next year. No. To play some field hockey. No. And Ionelli along the far side. That's what I was told by uh, one of the coaches. It's all rumor. Dirt. It's all rumor. <laughs> That's what the Hillers head coach, Becky Abate, mentioned to us. Well... They're going to whistle along the far side in favor of the Hillers. I like the way they're playing so far. Not so many whistles. Unlike the Dedham game, where it's just whistles a go-go. I'd like to give a shout-out to my son, Mark Sacklad, born 9999. He's 20 years old today. Happy birthday, Marky Mark. Very happy birthday. So for those that don't know, we were informed about the Yellow card rules, first yellow card is a three minute penalty and then the second yellow card would be a five minute penalty. And those are team wide, so it doesn't matter if it's the same player or not. They put an escalator in there. Pass up by Hopedale as Carly Smith trying to get it up to Gianna Rienzo. Another whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Some contact made. For those of you just tuning in, not watch a field hockey game, it's sort of like a combination between Soccer and ice hockey, similar type rules. Just not as much contact as you would see in ice hockey. Jeez, Grace Lehman on defense is everywhere. She was my player of the game against Dedham. Nora Hodgins with a nice pass for Hopedale up to Zoe Anthensopoulos. You got to get out in front of the attacker. You can't cut them off. There's a whistle the other way for Hopedale. Some infraction. Blue Raiders will have it. Ro Murphy will put it in play. Up to Nora Hodgins. Hiller's defenders are there. Here comes Vani Sharma, who really had a big impact in that game against Dedham. Really? Allison McMahon. Pass over to Nora Hodgins. And now it's intercepted by the Hillers. Here comes Alyssa McIntyre. Alyssa McIntyre gets around Caroline Hurley. She'll fire it there, an opportunity. Loose ball, it's and it's put in. Goal Hillers. Sorry, Tom. Was that Megan Muldoon who put that in? I don't know, it was the white, somebody in a white shirt. <laughs> I believe it was Megan Muldoon. We'll have to get a confirmation on that. There was definitely an assist there as well. But it's 1-0 Hillers, 26-23 in, or 26-23 left in the first half. Just over three minutes in, two 30-minute halves. That's the first goal let up by the Hopedale Duke University incoming freshman. That is correct. Hillers forwards playing well. So far, so good as they work it up the far side. It was Sarah Doyle. Pass over by Doyle. And now there's Sharma. Sharma closing in. 
There's a pass there over to Liz Kane. Out in front, another opportunity perhaps. Here goes Cammie McDonald. Pass back to Sharma. And the Blue Raiders have it intercepted by Nora Hodgins. Grace Lehman tried to jab at it. Jab tackle, terminology used. Not allowed to touch sticks, Tom. Hopedale's led by head coach Lauren Bouchard. Hillers by Becky Abate. You're only allowed to use the flat part of the stick. Pass. Back or rounded part, no good. There's Vani Sharma. No one there. Hopedale gets it back for the moment. Off the stick of Anthan Sapolis. It'll be Hopkins and Ball. Put in play, here comes Grace Lehman. Well, they have five yards, so did right. go the five yards. Or Hodgins try to move it around Liz Kane. Get a whistle here in favor of Hopedale. Here's Roe Murphy. The Hillers played a scrimmage this past weekend down at the Cape against Dennis Yarmouth. Game did not count towards the season, but they always like to make that trip. They stayed overnight on Saturday and played the game early Sunday morning. Really? Yep. Well, they probably got good rates this time of year. Kevin McDonald, one of the captains, strikes the ball towards the goal. And it'll go out of play. Picked up by the goaltender, Piper Hampshire. We get a free hit. Hit by Allison McMahon. It's taken back by the Hillers. Over to McIntyre. McIntyre trying to leave it for Sharma, the goaltender, way out of the net. And now here comes Sarah Doyle. Doyle tied up a little bit. It's taken back by Hopedale. 23-40 and counting left to go in the first half. Gianna D. Rienzo with possession. Back and forth we go at midfield. Some contact there. We'll draw the whistle. Another whistle here. You know, with this game, you got to give X number of yards room and... Yeah, yards yeah. violation there. Cammie McDonald, she's going to college on a field hockey scholarship. Hannah Ionelli with a misfire. It's taken by Carly Smith. And now quickly gathered back up briefly by the Hillers. And now Hopedale has it. I'm sorry, she's going to college on a lacrosse scholarship. Not field hockey, different sport. Hope they'll try to close in here. There's a shot, deflected away by the goalie. It was off the stick of Zoe Anthen Sapolis. Goaltender for the Hillers, Liz Gross. Oh, we got a little penalty. Penalty corner. Yep. Ball's gonna go outside that circle you see in black, which is 25 yards and then be touched. And you can only score from 16 yards in. There, it made it outside. Good shot there, but it's wide left off of the stick of Athen Sapolis. So we got a side in for Hopkinton. Anytime it goes out of bounds, team with the balls got a side in. Got back off five yards, I think. Got a big crowd down here today. Certainly do. Because it's, it's nice weather. Along the near side, there's Sharma. She's a junior, right, Sharma? She is indeed a junior. Hope they'll try to close in. She's always in the mix, Sharma. Good player. Certainly is. Hannah Ionelli. Pass over to the near side. McIntyre 
Gives it a strike, and it's taken by Nora Hodgins for Hopedale. Some contact there. Whistle in favor of Hopedale. Well, these referees were a little bit different than last uh, game's referees. They didn't really cross the halfway point. One stood on the right, one stood on the left calling fouls. This tandem is uh, doing some work. Certainly are. Will be put into play by the Hillers. Intercepted along the near side by Sofia Garzoli for Hopedale. Teams will change sides after the half, which will be in 20 minutes after a 10 minute break. Sharma gets in there, some contact drawn. Did you bring orange slices for the girls tonight? That was your job. Oh. Here's Ro Murphy. Sharma gets the stick in there, trying to contest Murphy along the near sideline. Sharma jabbing at that ball. Ref didn't like it, and gives the ball to Hopedale. Can't touch sticks. And that pass went out of bounds. Hiller's possession. You know, you can only score in that 16 yard zone. Sometimes teams will intentionally try and hit the opposition with the ball so it hits their shoe or something. So they'll get the ball back. This Kane knocks it down, but it was taken by Allison McMahon for Hopedale. And now here comes Ro Murphy, one of the captains. That's legal trickery doing that. She was tripped up there, so the Blue Raiders will have the whistle in their favor here. Pass over to McMahon. Hiller is trying to get it back into Hopedale territory. Oh. Sharma racing up. There's Sharma. Some good stick work there. Sharma trying to close it in. She'll give it a strike. A couple Blue Raiders there, but there to contest for the Hillers is Cammie McDonald. Now McIntyre trying to contest along the far side. Ref didn't like that, but looks like they're staying in their lanes. Pass up by Carly Schmidt. You got forwards, midfielders, and defense. I was going to say defensemen, defense women. Oh, I won't go there, Tom. Don't worry. Here comes the Hillers. It's a McIntyre with the pass over towards Cami McDonald along the far side of the box. And we get a whistle here. I want to say that was a yardage violation. Caroline Hurley. Well, she did whiff on the shot, and maybe her stick got a little high. Yep. Uh, but you got to give five yards as you hear the coach. Caroline Hurley puts it in play for Hopedale. Hillers quickly get it back. They're looking good today, Tom. They certainly are. Lock Crispin. Playing oh. pretty aggressive. A misfire there, and they'll draw a whistle. Misfire from Liz Kane. Allison McMahon with the pass intercepted by Sarah Doyle. Ah, we're going to have. The penalty corner for Hopkinton. Looks like it'll be Sarah Doyle passing it out. You hear those sticks clap inside the scoring circle? Yeah. Uh, that's why the, they got whistled, Hopedale. They've been known to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. I understand, but it's a hot day. It's a hot day. Hopedale, a very... Good athletic school. There's a shot, and it's loose, and it is in. You can or, jab at the goalie. Or was it? I believe we had a goal. Oh, do we have a, a shoe untied, or what's the story? Yeah, yep, it's a goal. It's a goal. And I want to say that was Sarah Doyle. I disagree. I want to say it was Alyssa McIntyre. I think so. <laughs> she was in the mix. We'll get a confirmation. Certainly tough to see when you got <laughs> a number of players around the ball. There's a couple strikes.
pretty close to the goaltender. But in any case, it's 2-0 Hillers. 16.30 left to go in the first half. And that goalie's protesting to the uh, referee, but uh, referee's not having any of it. I think the goalie was trying to say it was some type of violation. But the well, officials disagree, and that's the important thing. Well, Piper, oh, it's intercepted by Cammy McDonald. Then there's a stick violation. Hope Dale just picks it up. Yeah, they were trying to catch the Hillers off guard there, but it is taken back by the Hillers as Sarah Doyle gets in there. Pass up to Roe Murphy. They are saying discipline the Hopkins and Hiller girls. Unlike the other day, they were sort of all over the place. You know, just like you watch soccer, you, you don't see uh, people racing for the ball, sort of hang around where they're supposed to be. Hopedale trying to work it into Hiller's territory. Here Down to nothing, they gotta do something. Here comes a Thanos Apollos. And we get a whistle in favor of Hopedale. So a Thanos Apollos. We'll put it into play or will yep. she? Yep. Gotta get five yards, those girls. Pass back. Hodgins. Good. Hit a foot. Yep. Foot violation. See the referee touch her foot. There's Ro Murphy, just pass Hodgins. Hodgins puts it in the box. Trying to center it up there was Hodgins, but the Hillers have it. And it's quickly taken back by Carly Schmidt for Hope Dill. And now the Hillers have it once again as Sarah Doyle is there. Hopkinson racing up field. And we have a contact whistle there. Quick pass up, here comes Sharma. Sharma trying to close it in. And she'll leave it in the top circle. And it'll be a, we have a contact whistle. It'll be a penalty corner for Hopkinton. Yep. Sarah Doyle gonna put the ball in play, but to whom? These are all practiced, choreographed plays they work on. Four defenders in the net or on the goal line along with Piper. Passes out to Sharma. Outside the circle. There's a deflection by the goaltender, Hamsh. And another strike there it as Hamsh comes diving out of the net. Hopkinton team got called there. for the uh, foot violation. I'm starting to understand the signals from this uh, referee. She's very good. She points at her foot. That means it's a foot violation, obviously. Sharma with the interception there. And she stepped on it. But it, actually it's in favor of the Hillers. It went off a Blue Raider foot. You got a free hit Sarah. from outside the scorer circle. Yeah, there's Sarah Doyle. Doyle trying to work it around. Too many Blue Raiders in the area, however. As Garzoli was there. And now here's Murphy. Hopkins is dominating time of possession. Yeah, they certainly are. And are on top. I've never held a foot field hockey stick, Tom, but it looks like twirling that stick around to not use the backhand would be tough to do. Pass up, intercepted there by Driscoll. Now Sharma racing in and gets locked up. With you could hear those Hurley. sticks clack. Yeah. It's called hacking. I learned that last night, as a matter of fact. Hacking. McIntyre with the pass over. Whistle in favor of Hopkinton. Free hit here. Megan Muldoon takes it. Out in front. A little more muster than she wanted on that one. Along the far side, Doyle tracks it down. Pass over, Sharma oh. trying to race in. A little body contact there. Dimensions of the field are 100 yards long and 60 yards wide, which I think you get five yards on either side for inbound plays. Muldoon with the pass over. 
That is McIntyre along the far side, and she'll have the whistle in her favor here. Pass over, and whistle in favor of Hopedale. See, we got captains. We got Hannah Ionelli, Alyssa McIntyre, Cammie McDonald, all seniors, obviously. 11.25 and ticking left to go in the first half. 2-0 lead for the Hillers. A non-league game with the Hopedale Blue Raiders out of the Tri-County League. Pass up. They got a or dual valley league, excuse me. Dual valley? Never heard of it. <laughs> but they got a decent house of pizza and hope. That here comes a substitution. You got to come off before your replacement can come on, touch sticks. Coming in the game for the Hillers is Olivia Mingase. And Opkinton trying to work it upfield. Fresh legs. Foot foul. What did you think of that Patriots game last well, night? I Larry? was just going to, that was on my list of things <laughs> to ask you. What a game it was. Great way to start the season. You know, I read the Pittsburgh Co Post Gazette. I'll stop. Hiller's talking. working in the danger zone for Hopedale here. Kevin McDonald trying to get some possession. Blue Raiders quick to clear it out. But there to intercept is Sa Sophia Driscoll for the Hillers. Good dribbling by Hopkinton. Certainly was a nice pass up by Muldoon. Oh. Here comes Hopkinton trying to attack here. Pass over out in front. There's a shot by Muldoon, and it's deflected away by a defenseman. Nice scoop shot by Muldoon. A little higher, might have got through. Hampsh with the pass up. Looking for Carly Smith along the near side. There's Smith. Backhanded pass over to Di Rienzo. Good block tackle. Laying that stick flat on the surface. But the ball hit is called a block tackle as opposed to a jab. Misfire. Misfire there by Athena Sopolis. That's like going to the free throw line and not hitting rim. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that happen to you quite often. Oh, it did. <laughs> there to intercept is Hannah Ionelli for the Hillers. Nice pass up over to Megan White. Nice dribbling by Megan White. She, she used the opposite end of that stick. I don't know what they call it. It's called a hook at the end of it. But Caroline Estella trying to track it down. It's like a nose of a salmon. But I was reading the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. One of the writers was talking about last night's game, and they were uh, they weren't angry. They were just saying that the Steelers played a horrible, horrible, horrible game. Couldn't have been worse. They certainly did. He was brutally honest about it. He wasn't making excuses. Well, when you lose 33-3, to there's certainly no excuses for that. And now here comes Megan Muldoon. I think uh, the big difference was the Patriots looked like they were in mid-season form, while Pittsburgh looked like they were in preseason form. In the last two games, they've given up a total of six points. E. I don't know. What do you think, Tom? I defense think, any I, good? I think their defense is going to be very good. I have it on one of my fantasy football teams, you Ooh. know. Well, you live a life of fantasy, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, getting back to the game. Along the near side, Rachel Nording. Rachel Nording, a junior. And a little stick contact there. In favor of Hopedale, it goes. Some clouds starting to trickle in. I was afraid of that. There's a substitution. Elizabeth Kane in. Yep. Good stick work there by D. Rienzo, but had nowhere to go with it. Back they call her Liz, go. by the way. Hmm? They call her Liz, by the way. Here's Grace Lehman. She's a terrific defender. D. Rienzo trying to race in. There to intercept is Hannah Ionelli. Nice pass up. Over to Mingase. Mingase with some room to work with up the near side. Able to get it over to White. Megan White, a senior. A lot of seniors on this year's Hillers roster. You can't cut in front of an attacker. You can't cut them off. You've got to backpedal and try and get the ball away. Misfire there by Muldoon draws a whistle. 
And he can't run pick plays like basketball and football. Murphy with the pass up. With the dribble, it's Athanasopoulos. Athanasopoulos able to get into Hiller's territory to DiRienzo. DiRienzo racing in, looking for a shot. And she'll strike wide left. Some signal by the ref. Did you know that there are two timeouts allowed? But if the coach calls a third timeout for some type of advantage or to slow things down, that's a yellow card. That's a five-minute penalty if it's the second one. That's yeah, like football when you call two right. timeouts. There's a shot, and it's deflected away. Nice job by the goaltender off the stick of <coughs> DiRienzo went, and Liz Gross deflects it away. Oh, Hope all tells. the Hopkins yeah. players got to go across the uh, half point on the field. To allow for this penalty corner. Yep. First penalty corner, I think, for Hopedale today. I'm not keeping the book, but I think it's the first time. I believe it's the second one. Oh, second? Yep. Oh. Misfire. Stolen away. Misfire by Athena Sapolis and a nice defensive effort by Hannah Ionelli. Along the far side is that was Carolina Stella. Yep. There she goes, trying to work it up. Passed a couple Blue Raiders, and it's taken back by Hopedale. You know, over, uh, you know, they have international and USA field hockey. They have men's in the USA field hockey. But some of these guys can hit it 90 miles an hour. Wow. 90. And Zidane Deshara can hit a puck 106 miles an hour. So pretty, pretty quick. I don't know if I'd want this ball flying at no. 90 miles an hour. No, me neither. <laughs> Blue Raider is rushing in. Hopedale's starting to put a little pressure on. There's a shot into the box. Quickly knocked yep. out, and we get a whistle. I want to yep. say that was a yardage violation. I thought it hit a foot, so it's a penalty corner again. Penalty corner for Hope, Hopedale. Carly Smith will distribute the ball. Alyssa McIntyre came off. She's riding some pine or aluminum down here at the turf field. Pass over. Shot in. Athena Sapolis on the assist. Carly Smith with the first Hopedale goal of the game. And it comes with 4.04 left in the first half. Two to one, Hopkinton. 404 left to go in the first half. Pass goes back to Sharma. Pass up by Sharma to White. Over to the near side now. Pass up by Nording, and now trying to work it up is Mingase. Stepping in for Hopedale was Allison McMahon. Mingase able to get back to it. We have a violation. Click stick. <laughs> yep. Hopedale will have possession here. McMahon with the pass to midfield. There's Lehman. Blue Raiders trying to get it back into Hopkinton territory. Here's DiRienzo. Out in front, Sharma there to intercept and knock it away. Stolen away there by Mingase, and now it's quickly taken back by Wave Griffin for Hopedale. Sharma gets the stick on it, over to White. Here comes White. White able to get it over, and now rushing in is Estella. Estella trying to get it into the box, and we get a whistle in favor of Hopedale with the contact between Estella and Hurley. 240 and counting left to go in the first half. A 2 to 1 Hopkinton lead. The Hillers had two early goals here in this first half. They had one at 26 23 and one at 16 30 left. And then it was Hopedale scoring with 404 left to go. Pass over by Roe Murphy. Blue Raiders trying to work it up the far side. 
with possession is Schmidt, Carly Schmidt. Can't cut the attacker off. So pass that... over, beauty of a pass out in front. We get a whistle. Schmidt with a nice pass to DiRienzo, but we get a whistle in favor of the Hillers. They got a free hit from outside. Driscoll puts it over to the near side. Pass up, here comes Nording. Rachel Nordling, a junior. Uh, foot violation. Yep. 130 and counting left to go in the first half. Roe Murphy with possession for Hopedale over to the near side. Stepping in to knock it away was Lehman. No one there for Hopedale, and it was briefly cleared away by Ellery Shoot. Now Hopedale has it back. Murphy. Oh, Murphy with the pass over, and it's knocked out of the box. Hiller's defender's been hard at work these last few minutes. Yeah. There's Mingase. He's dribbling right through the Hopedale defense. Passes it through. Looking for White and tangled up on the near side. That'll draw the whistle in favor hacking of Hopedale. Hacking call. Two minutes for hacking. Ah. 30 seconds left and a half. Pass up there by Nordling. Trying to take it for Hopedale was Gosselin. And she'll win that battle. Hopedale better hurry up. There's only 14 seconds on the board. Pass up over to Smith. Whistle there. Clock continues to run. Three, two, one. Two, one, and that'll do it for the first half. An exciting first half of play. And after one half, it's Hopkinton two, Hopedale one. We'll take a timeout. It's Hillers Field Hockey on H Camp. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. We are ready for the second half of play. A two to one Hopkinton lead over Hopedale as we enter the final 30 minutes of regulation. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Matt Clark on camera. Beautiful day here at the Hopkinton sure High School is, turf sure fields. Is. Absolutely. Hopkinton lost the coin toss and Hopedale got the ball in the start of the first half, but Hopkinton gets it for the second half. Hopedale was putting the pressure on late in the first half and kind of turned the momentum of the game a little bit. We'll see if the Hillers can get the momentum back on their side. Well, I, you know, I'm a intrepid reporter and I always try to get the scoop. Here's what I heard. They played a three hour tournament down in Dennis yesterday, three hours. And this person, on name person, Alyssa McIntyre running down the sideline, yep. dribbling. She's got Cammie McDonald ahead of her. It's intercepted briefly, but there for Hopkinton is Doyle. Nice pass between the legs of Carly Schmidt on the Blue Raiders. Hopedale has it back now. Hodgins along the near side. Up. So the scoring summary for the first half, it was Vani Sharma putting in the first goal for the Hillers, assisted by Cami McDonald with 26-23 left in the first half to pick it one to nothing, and then it was Sarah Doyle on goal number two at 16.30 left to go. And then for Hopedale, it was Carly Smith scoring with 4.04 left to go, assisted by Zoe Athenasopoulos. Uh, repeat that. <laughs> and that gives you our two to one score. Minute and a half into the second half of play, and we have a whistle here in favor of Hopkinton. Doyle puts it in play there to collect for Hopedale Smith. And now Smith and Doyle get wrapped up a little bit. Pass up to McIntyre. 
McIntyre was trying to feed it towards Kami McDonald. She'll do it again here, but she gets gets it stolen away by Caroline Hurley. That was a legal jab there. Back and forth we go in the midfield area. Pass up the far side over to Athenosopolis. Nice hit there by Ionelli. Now here Hopkins comes Susan. Got numbers. Yep, Alyssa Souza. Over to Sharma. Sharma with a quick dribble up the far side. Leaves it for McDonald. McDonald racing in. Shot deflected away by the goaltender. And we get a whistle here. Could be a penalty shot. And I shot. think it's a penalty corner. It is they do have, uh, for really bad violations, they do have a, uh, they go seven yards out from the goal, and it's one shot on the goalie. High likelihood of getting it past the goalie from seven yards. Out in front, McDonald. And a slide there by the goaltender, still in play. Sharma got in there briefly, and it's knocked out by Hopedale. Pass up. Over to the near side, trying to track it down as Driscoll. Now out in front, Sharma. Nice bit of dribbling by her. McDonald gets a stick on it. And it was Alyssa Souza the last touch it. It went out of play. Free hit for Hopedale. Yep. So this unknown person thinks that the Hopkins girls will tire in the second half. And it's intercepted there by the Blue Raiders. That pass over was Ro Murphy, the captain. Sort of makes sense, though. They've been substituting more than they did in the Dedham game. Three hours is a lot of running. Murphy over to Athenasopoulos. Yeah, especially when it was just yesterday. Correct. Here comes Hopedale. Trying to charge in was DiRienzo. The Blue yeah, Raiders. Penalty corner for uh, playing footsie with the ball. Yep. Carly Smith will put it into play. For those of you wondering the, the heights of these girls, the goal is seven feet tall by 12 feet wide. That's a lot of area to cover. Bigger than a hockey goal, that's for sure. Over to Athenasopoulos. Nice dribble there, but the Hillers defending well so far as Muldoon was able to get the stick in there. Sharma will track it down along the far side. Just over five minutes into the second half. It remains two to one Hillers. But Hopedale putting some pressure on. Muldoon knocks it away. He's leaving again. A knock back up by McMahon for Hopedale. Pass up by Murphy. Blue Raiders trying to close in. And it's defended well. Whistle here in favor of Hopedale. Yeah, Alyssa McIntyre's moved from right wing. Last period she was in, or last half, she was on the left wing. Along the near side, Hurley. Intercepted by McDonald. It's going to go out of play. Yep. It'll be Blue Raiders ball. Such a civil game, isn't it, Tom? It is. No overt cheating. They were honest about it. Caroline Hurley with the pass over. And now Sharma trying to close in. Does oh. she play hoop, Sharma? She looked like she could run a good fast break. She certainly does a whole lot of speed. 
Sharma with the shot there, deflected away by the goaltender. Nice save by Hampsh and was able to get it over to Gosselin who cleared it out. Sharma with some power on that one. Yeah, she got right down and whacked it. Oh, some body contact. But it was by the Hopedale player. Get a free hit for Hopkinen. Sort of like a spot foul from where the foul is. You gotta give five yards. That's a nice scoop pass. It certainly is. Hodgins is there for Hopedale. Hodgins trying to work it up past Lehman. Now stepping in for the Hillers, that is Caroline Lehman. Excuse me, uh, Ellery Shoot. And now trying to get it out of Hopedale possession was Doyle. Click of sticks, goes yep. to Hopedale. Doyle. Intercepted. Pass up, she was looking for McIntyre. Stolen away by Hopedale. Near side, Schmidt. Pass down to Smith. Off the stick of the Hiller there is Ellery Shute able to get it out of Hopedale possession and a pass over to Souza. Hiller's trying to rush in, taken by Hurley for Hopedale and now stolen back by McIntyre. She got the body on number four. Alyssa McIntyre, a shot there, out in front, Ooh. cleared away. Thought that was gonna be deflected in past Piper. Piper Hampsh. Yep, great basketball player as well. Yep. She's a great football player too. <laughs> so, uh, Mega White's gonna come in, waiting for somebody to come off. Unlimited substitutions of field hockey. Blue Raiders clear it up. Sharma along the far side. I think last year Sharma played the whole game. So she's she's in good shape. Yeah, she did come out briefly in the first half. She did? Yep. You got great eyes. I got cat. Well, it's thanks to the glasses. Yeah. Out in front, and we have some stick contact there. Any violation in that shooter circle is going to result in the penalty corner. Hope deal with an opportunity here. Carly Smith will clear it out. Oh, it's gonna go past the 25 yard mark and touched. Pass out to Murphy. And there's a shot and a save there by a Hiller other than the goaltender. Very well defended. Great and now the whistle again. in favor of the Hillers. That was uh, Grace that Lehman. Megan Muldoon who stepped in the net, I believe. No, it was Grace you, Lehman again. You're right, you're right, Grace Lehman. See, I know, I know my players. She did have yeah, a great I thought it was an 18, place. it was a 16, so well, maybe my eyes, eyes, eyes aren't so good. Stink. <laughs> um, she had a play the other uh, the other day. It was a Dedham player was right in the goal mouth, and the goalie was out, and she came and stoned the Dedham player. S saved a goal, which would have saved the game. Yep, certainly did. That was probably your player play of the game. That's right why there. I named her player of the game, and you yep. uh, you tried to outvote me. Who did you name player of the I game? Think Sharma. Oh yeah. She plays good offense, eh? Certainly does. <laughs> but uh, Hopkins is playing di discipline. They are skating their lanes, so when they pass, they can even look down and pass and kind of figure out where somebody's going to be. I guess that's the gist of this game. Never have played it. Never had anything played it. Green card. Ooh, that's a talking to. Ooh. That's sort of a verbal warning, like, let's... Don't do anything again. Calm down. Or the yellow's coming up. Calm down. Who's it on? Well, stops the clock. 19.09. Oh, the ref says next one, next one's going to be the yellow one. Oh, boy. 
I believe it was against Hopkinton. Yep. It was. They don't yeah. take these guffs, these MIA referees. Nice interception by Alyssa McIntyre. Swats it out, and there's an injury. Oh Unintentional. Boy. They got goggles and mouth guards, so. Blue Raider down, but she seems to be okay. That is Ro Murphy, the captain. And she's ready to go. Just had to shake it off briefly. Will there be a penalty corner or just a free hit? Free hit. Free hit. Allison McMahon will take it. Her correction, that was indeed Ro Murphy. Pass up by Schmidt. Now trying to work it is Garzoli. Misfire there by Schmidt. Pillars will have it. Pass up the near side. There's Pushes Doyle. the ball up nicely. Trying to step in is Megan White. Hope Dill gets it back. Pass up, cleared away, out of play. Well, Hannah Ionelli just saw nowhere else to go with it, so just put it out of play. In hockey, that would be, you know, a penalty. Throwing it over the boards intentionally. You going to be calling Hopkin oh. and Hiller Hockey this year? Of course. Ooh. Myself and Eric Cardi. I don't know how you keep me. track of those line changes. And there's a shot and a save by the Hopkinton goaltender. Still pressure being put on by Hopedale. A shot was from the stick of Carly Smith, knocked away by Gross. Whistle in favor of the Hillers. That was a really good block tackle by Gross. He got her stick all the way flat on the ground and stopped that ball from going through. And there's a timeout called by somebody. I believe it was by the Hillers. Calling the timeout. 17.33 left to go. The Hopkinton Hillers 2, the Hopedale Blue Raiders 1. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. We are ready for the second half of play. A 2-1 to one Hopkinton lead over Hopedale as we enter the final 30 minutes of regulation. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklight on the call. Matt Clark on camera. Beautiful day here at the Hopkinton sure High School is, turf sure fields. Is. Absolutely. Hopkinton lost the coin toss and Hopedale got the ball in the start the first half, but Hopkinton gets it for the second half. Hopedale was putting the pressure on late in the first half and kind of turned the momentum of the game a little bit. We'll see if the Hillers can get the momentum back on their side. Well, I, I you know, I'm a intrepid reporter and I always try to get the scoop. Here's what I heard. They played a three-hour tournament down in Dennis yesterday, three hours, and this person, on name person, Alyssa McIntyre, running down the sideline, yep. dribbling. She's got Cammie McDonald ahead of her. Yeah, it's intercepted briefly, but there for Hopkinton is Doyle. Nice pass between the legs of Carly Schmidt on the Blue Raiders. Hope Dale has it back now. Hodgins along the near side. Up. So the scoring summary for the first half, it was Vani Sharma putting in the first goal for the Hillers, assisted by Cammie McDonald with 26-23 left in the first half to make it one to nothing. And then it was Sarah Doyle on goal number two at 16-30 left to go. And then for Hopedale, it was Carly Smith scoring with 404 left to go, assisted by Zoe Athenasopoulos. Uh repeat that. <laughs> And that gives you our two to one score. Minute and a half into the second half of play. And we have a whistle here in favor of Hopkinton. Doyle puts it in play there to collect for Hopedale Smith. And now Smith and Doyle get wrapped up a little bit. Pass up to McIntyre. McIntyre was trying to feed it towards Cammie McDonald. She'll do it again here, but she gets 
Gets it stolen away by Caroline Hurley. That was a legal jab there. Back and forth we go in the midfield area. Pass up the far side over to Athenosopolis. Nice hit there by Ionelli. Now here Hopkins comes Souza. Numbers. Yep, Alyssa Souza. Over to Sharma. Sharma with a quick dribble up the far side. Leaves it for McDonald. McDonald racing in. Shot deflected away by the goaltender. And we get a whistle here. Could be a penalty shot. And I shot. think it's a penalty corner. Yep. It is indeed. They do have, uh, for really bad violations, they do have a, uh, they go seven yards out from the goal, and it's one shot on the goalie. High likelihood of getting it past the goalie from seven yards. Out in front, McDonald. And a slide there by the goaltender, still in play. Sharma got in there briefly, and it's knocked out by Hopedale. Pass up. Over to the near side, trying to track it down as Driscoll. Now out in front, Sharma. Nice bit of dribbling by her. McDonald gets a stick on it. And it was Alyssa Souza the last touch it. It went out of play. Free hit for Hopedale. Yep. So this unknown person thinks that the Hopkins girls will tire in the second half. And it's intercepted there by the Blue Raiders. That pass over was Roe Murphy, the captain. So to make sense, though, they've been substituting more than they did in the Dedham game. Three hours is a lot of running. Murphy over to Athenasopoulos. Yeah, especially when it was just yesterday. Correct. Here comes Hopedale. Trying to charge in was DiRienzo. The Blue yeah, Raiders. Penalty corner for uh, playing footsie with the ball. Yep. Carly Smith will put it into play. For those of you wondering the, the heights of these girls, the gold is seven feet tall by 12 feet wide. That's a lot of area to cover. Bigger than a hockey goal, that's for sure. Over to Athenasopoulos. Nice dribble there, but the Hillers defending well so far as Muldoon was able to get the stick in there. Sharma will track it down along the far side. Just over five minutes into the second half. It remains two to one Hillers. But Hopedale putting some pressure on. Muldoon knocks it away. He's leaving again. I'll knock back up by McMahon for Hopedale. Pass up by Murphy. Blue Raiders trying to close in. And it's defended well. Whistle here in favor of Hopedale. Yeah, Alyssa McIntyre's moved from right wing Last period she was in, or last half, she was on the left wing. Along the near side, Hurley. Intercepted by McDonald. It's going to go out of play. Yep. It'll be Blue Raiders ball. Such a civil game, isn't it, Tom? It is. No overt cheating. They were honest about it. Caroline Hurley with the pass over. And now Sharma trying to close in. Does she play hoop, Sharma? She looked like she could run a good fast break. She certainly does a whole lot of speed. Sharma with the shot there, deflected away by the goaltender. 
Nice save by Hampsh and was able to get it over to Gosselin who cleared it out. Sharma with some power on that one. Yeah, she got right down and whacked it. Oh, some body contact. But it was by the Hopedale player. Get a free hit for Hopkinen. Sort of like a spot foul from where the foul is. You're going to give five yards. That's a nice scoop pass. It certainly is. Hodgins is there for Hopedale. Hodgins trying to work it up past Lehman. Now stepping in for the Hillers, that is Caroline Lehman. Excuse me, uh, Ellery Shute. And now trying to get it out of Hopedale possession was Doyle. A click of sticks, goes yep. to Hopedale. Doyle. Intercepted. Pass up, she was looking for McIntyre. Stolen away by Hopedale. Near side, Schmidt. Pass down to Smith. Off the stick of the Hiller there as Ellery Shute able to get it out of Hopedale possession and a pass over to Souza. Hiller's trying to rush in, taken by Hurley for Hopedale and now stolen back by McIntyre. She got the body on number four. Alyssa McIntyre, a shot there, out in front, oh. cleared away. Thought that was gonna be deflected in past Piper. Piper Hampsh. Yep, great basketball player as well. Yep, she's a great football player too. <laughs> so, uh, Mega White's gonna come in, waiting for somebody to come off. Unlimited substitutions of field hockey. Blue Raiders clear it up. Sharma along the far side. I think last year Sharma played the whole game. So she's she's in good shape. Yeah, she did come out briefly in the first half. She did? Yep. You got great eyes. I got cat. Well, it's thanks to the glasses. Yeah. Out in front, and we have some stick contact there. Any violation in that shooter circle is going to result in the penalty corner. Hope deal with an opportunity here. Carly Smith will clear it out. Oh, it's going to go past the 25 yard mark and touched. Pass out to Murphy. And there's a shot and a save there. By a Hiller other than the goaltender, very well defended. Great and now the whistle again. in favor of the Hillers. That was, uh, was that Megan Muldoon who stepped in the net, I believe. No, it was Grace you, Lehman again. You're right, you're right, Grace Lehman. See, I know, I know my players. She did have a great I thought it was an 18, place. it was a 16, so well, maybe my she, eyes, eyes aren't so good. <laughs> um, she had a play the other the other day. It was a Dedham player was right in the goal mouth. And the goalie was out, and she came and stoned the Dedham player. S saved a goal, which would have saved the game. Yep, certainly did. That was probably your player play of the game. That's right why there. I named her player of the game, and you yep. out, you tried to outvote me. Who did you name player of the I game? I think Sharma. Oh, yeah. She plays good offense, eh? Certainly does. <laughs> But uh, Hopkins is playing di discipline. They are skating their lanes. So when they pass, they can even look down and pass and kind of figure out where somebody's going to be. I guess that's the gist of this game. Never have played it. Never had anything played it. Green card. Oh, that's a talking to. Ooh. That's sort of a verbal warning, like... Let's don't do anything again. Calm down. Or the yellow's coming up. Calm down. Who's it on? Stops the clock. Nineteen oh nine. Oh, the ref says next one. Next one's going to be the yellow one. Oh boy, I believe it was against Hopkinton. Yep, it was. 
They don't take these guffs, these MIA referees. Nice interception by Alyssa McIntyre. Swats it out, and there's an injury. Oh Unintentional. Boy. They got goggles and mouth guards, so. Blue Raider down, but she seems to be okay. That is Ro Murphy, the captain. And she's ready to go. Just had to shake it off briefly. Will there be a penalty corner or just a free hit? Free hit. Free hit. Allison McMahon will take it. For correction, that was indeed Ro Murphy. Pass up by Schmidt. Now trying to work it is Garzoli. Misfire there by Schmidt. Hillers will have it. Pass up the near side. Here's Pushes Doyle. the ball up nicely. Trying to step in is Megan White. Hope Dale gets it back. Pass up. Cleared away. Out of play. Well, Hannah Ionelli just saw nowhere else to go with it, so just put it out of play. In hockey, that would be, you know, a penalty. Throwing it over the boards intentionally. You going to be calling Hopkins and Hiller Hockey this year? Of course. Ooh. Myself and Eric Cardi. I don't know how you keep me. track of those line changes. And there's a shot and a save by the Hopkinton goaltender. Still pressure being put on by Hopedale. A shot was from the stick of Carly Smith, knocked away by Gross. Whistle in favor of the Hillers. That was a really good block tackle by Gross. She got her stick all the way flat on the ground and stopped that ball from going through. And there's a timeout called by somebody. I believe it was by the Hillers. Calling the timeout. 17.33 left to go. The Hopkinton Hillers 2, the Hopedale Blue Raiders 1. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Off the timeout, 17.33 left to go in the second half. The Hillers 2, Hope Dale 1. It's been a Good back and forth battle, a lot of momentum shifts in this game, Larry. That is true, and the Hopedale coach told her players that they were dominating the second half. Well, I wouldn't use the word dominating. I, Maybe I certainly think they were winning the possession battle. Yeah, but edge of play, not dominating. I mean, the Patriots dominated last <laughs> night. And that was just, that was cruel what they did to the Steelers. I thought it was great. And that, hence why the entire league hates us. Ooh. All the fans that don't root for the Patriots absolutely hate Patriots fans. Here comes the Blue Raiders, Garzoli. Pass over, shot, out in front. Wide right. Trickled through. That was off the stick of Gianna DiRienzo. Well, that's about where it was hit from, so that's where it's going to get free hit from. Pass over by Ionelli off of McIntyre out of play. little miscommunication there. Not a whole lot of bounce to that ball. Here's Roe Murphy. Puts it off of Doyle. Oh, click stick. Yep, stick click. Favor the Hillers. Here's Doyle. Pass up to White. One on one. Megan White rushing up. Had a trailer. Yeah. 
Able to get it over. Now here comes Muldoon. Megan Muldoon with a nice move there. Trying to put a shot on it. Deflected away by Hampsh. Goalies over to the near side it goes. Oh. Is it going to go out of play? Yes. The goalies do have sticks. I don't know whether the camera picks it up, but they're not real big. I think they're like regulation sticks. Well, we got Matt on camera. He picks up everything. There is such a thing as a stick sizer that they have to comply with. It can't be um, more than two and a half inches, I think it is, wide. And they use some type of, like, I don't know, lobster measure or something like that to make sure that they're not having a violation. There's a shot by McIntyre. It was deflected off of Blu-ray Sharma. And now it's cleared out by Hopedale. Quick break here, DiRienzo. Wow. Sharma takes it right back. Hamps really got that pad on the ball and booted it out of there. There's a pass up by Souza. And out of play it goes wide right. Blue Raiders will have the free hit. Piper Harps during halftime was out of urging her teammates on. Ro Murphy with a nice pass up over to Carly Smith. Here comes Carly Schmidt. Misfire. That'll draw the whistle. Hannah Ionelli puts it up the near side. Over to Sarah Doyle. Now here comes McIntyre. Stolen back by Hopedale briefly, but there to collect for the Hillers is Doyle. Maybe a shot opportunity here, Doyle. And it's taken back by Hopedale. Sharma able to get in there and steal it away from Hodgins. I like when they use the hook. They get really low and use that hook to shoot with. Seem to get some extra mustard on their shot rather than doing that. Hiller's doing a pretty nice job at keeping it in Hopedale territory the last few minutes. Nearly a trip there, stolen away. That is, I believe, White. Or actually, that is uh, Muldoon getting That's in there. It's going Hopedale's way with 13.37 left in the second half. Yep. Blue Raiders trying to turn this game around. But the Hiller is certainly resisting. Here's Carly Smith. Stowell has a clock, and there's a yellow card. Oh boy. Yeah. That is three minutes. Yep. Three minutes for Schutt. Hillary Schutt will head over and. It's like a cross check. Take three minutes off, and the Hiller is going to be a man down. Woman down. A woman down, you're correct. Unless, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Roe Murphy will knock it into play for Hopedale. Well, if the Blue Raiders are going to tie things up, this is the time to do it. Racing in was Doyle. Could be white ball, Hopkins ball. Nice job by Doyle. Hope he didn't lost possession. Yeah, went off of Murphy out of play. Muldoon. Hodgins pass up. Here comes the Blue Raiders. DiRienzo. DiRienzo is trying to work it. McIntyre gets in there. Oh, boy. It's going uh, Hopedale's way. They're going to have a big free hit here. That's the second time Alyssa McIntyre has got her stick high. That almost was another yellow card, I think. She uh, made... Further contact with the Blue Raiders player. That would not have been good. Murphy trying to keep possession for Hopedale. Good dribble there by Doyle. Maybe we'll have a shorthanded goal. Doyle with some nice moves. McIntyre getting in there. Pass up by Muldoon. Oh, come on. Whistle goes Hopedale's way. Caroline Hurley. 
off of McIntyre's stick, and this Good whistle goes in favor of the Hillers. McIntyre. Certainly was. Clears it out to Cammie McDonald. She's racing down the left side. And it's stolen back by Hopedale. Still a number of Hillers in the area, however. Doyle gets in there. Nice move by Doyle. Whoa. Some fancy dribbling. Doyle doing battle with Roe Murphy. McIntyre. McIntyre up against Schmidt. Here's so McIntyre. Good block Wins that tackle. battle. McDonald now. Pass up. There's White. Megan White He's trying to center it up. McDonald trying to get the shot off. And it was deflected away. Sharma trying to get in there. And Blue Raider is able to clear it out for the moment, but Sharma still contesting. She's a pest uh, in a nice way. And we get a whistle here in favor of Hopedale. A little trip. I thought it was a Sharma. more of a flop. That's intercepted by Sharma. Grace Lehman's got to play it. She's going to clear it out. Muldoon gets locked up with Smith. Click stick. Click in stick. In favor of the Hillers. Hope till gets back. Along the near side, Muldoon. Penalty they ought to be close to be up. Oh, nice pass. Almost through to Cam A. McDonald. Here comes D. Rienzo. And now it's Smith. Trying to take it away for the Hillers is Ionelli. She was using her body, the Hopedale player, against Ionelli. Garzoli with the pass back. Now Garzoli puts it in the box, cleared to the near side. Doyle. Towards the sideline, out of play. Closing in on 10 minutes left to go in the second half. Still two to one Hillers. Been a great battle between these two teams. I think they're pretty evenly matched. Well, the scoreboard doesn't say so. There's Hodgins. And that's all that matters. Yes. I like when they do that and that. And Doyle. Alyssa McIntyre out front. No, Anna. McDonald. Puts it Last off. touch by Hopedale. Yep. White ball. Went off of Moave Griffin. Amy McDonald puts it into play. Off of Doyle, Griffin, and Doyle, or actually that's Hurley doing battle. And they continue to go at it, Doyle and Hurley. And now stepping in is Garzoli. Pass up over to Smith. Getting in there for the Hillers oh. is Muldoon. We get a whistle in favor of Hopedale. She got in front of the attacker. That's not allowed. Just less than nine minutes left. And the Hillers bring back in Ellery shoot. The penalty has expired. So a nice job by the Hillers killing off that power play. The four on, four on two. Yep, big opportunity here, White. Trying to leave it for Sharma. Sharma looking for an opportunity to get a Pass off into the box, drew some contact in favor of the Hillers. Free hit here. Picked off by Hopedale player. That was a good steal there by Schmidt. Sharma was doing some fancy stick work. Backhand, forehand. I wonder how she'd be at ice hockey. Lousy. <laughs> I don't think so. She'd be the woman's version of Brad Marchand. Here's Kane. I'll have to do my research and see if any of these players are on the Dover Sherborne Hopkinton girls hockey team. No. White, pass over, shot opportunity. And it's deflected away off the stick of McDonald. We're going to have a penalty corner. Yep. Good shot there by McDonald. Piper Hampsh being put to work for Hopedale. 7.25 and ticking left to go here in the second half. Hiller's still up by one. Again. 
Substitution for Hopedale. Roe Murphy, the captain, going to come back in for Hodges. Four on the goal line for uh, Hopedale plus Piper Hampsh. Oh, the uh, Hopkinton girls have spread way out on the circle. It's got to go outside the circle. She'll go to McDonald. Misfire there. Sharma. Shot. Deflected away. Taken away by Schmidt. Sharma getting back in there. Trying to steal it away from Schmidt. Here comes Hopedale. Blue Raider is running out of time to get back into this game. Murphy. And now Garzoli with possession along the far sideline. Game doesn't end, Tom, until the clock strikes zero. That's right. DiRienzo. She was contested, able to get it into the box, however. Here's Athanasopoulos out in front, and it's turned away by the goaltender. Still in the danger zone. Hiller's trying to clear it out, and they will. Here's Look. Kane. Lehman right through the Hopedale attacker's legs. Murphy trying to put it back in the box. Schult is there for the Hillers. Passes right to Sharma. Little breakout. Yep. Bonnie Sharma racing to the far side, trying to get around Moave Griffin. She got body position, and that's why they blew the whistle. She takes the hit. A hack up by Sharma. Nice pass over to McDonald. McDonald is going to feed it to Kane. Oh, and now, right now. the goaltender out of the net. Opportunity, white shot, goal! 3-1 Hillers. It was all set up by Sharma. Fed it towards the goal. Hillers taking advantage of the open net. With 5.26 left to go in regulation, 3-1 Hopkinton. They score on the Duke-to-be. She's unhappy. Hope they will put it into play. 3-1 with 5.26 left on the clock. Great job there by the Hillers, just putting relentless pressure on. Yeah. Back and forth, we go at midfield. Totally dominating. Come on. Not true. Fake news. That's what the hope tell. So is Kane able to take advantage of the open net? Sometimes I think Hamps comes too far out. Well. And the Hillers, when the goaltender comes out, they usually have someone in there covering the net. Yep. Sharma. Hiller is with an opportunity here once again. McIntyre, whistle, penalty corner Hillers. So. so they got six players, Hopkinton, compared to five, so they have that one woman advantage. Yeah. Five spread around the shooter circle. McIntyre puts it in over to McDonald. Shot out in front. Sharma. Hampshire able to deflect it away. Still in the danger zone. Sharma. We get a whistle. Nope. Now we do. And this one in favor of Hopedale. Less than four minutes left to go. The Hiller is very close to improving a 2-0 and 1 on the season. They lead it 3-1 over Hopedale. I don't know, Tom, I think I'm going to need your help. I can't make an executive decision to save my soul today. There's Smith. Yeah, can you ever, though? No, it's... Well, I can't say the name of the product because that would be an FCC violation, but we'll just say it's going to be pizza at a commercial location or something I put in the microwave. Help me. Oh, well, I don't know. I'll go with the pizza. All right. Hiller's trying to clear it out. Hopedale putting the pressure on. Out in front. Gross able to knock it away, and out of play it goes. 
Went look, off of a Blue Raider. Yeah, look of frustration on the Blue Raiders. They were swarming the net a bit. Clock still running, 2.45 to go. Excuse me, it was Megan White who put in the third Hiller's goal. Into the box, trying to clear it out is Torgerson. That is Emma Torgerson, a sophomore. Hiller's getting some of the younger players in with a comfortable lead at 2.20 left to go. Side in for Hopedale. The Rianza, or excuse me, Murphy, pass over. Hiller's trying to clear it out. Kane trying to steal it away. There's Sharma racing in. Sharma just all over the field as usual. Pass over by Shiara Perry. 145 and counting left to go. And now Perry trying to knock it away for the Hillers. Hopkinton does a nice job at controlling it in the defensive zone. Hope they'll get it back, however. A minute and a half left to go. Hiller is just trying to maintain at this point and clear it out. Muldoon. Perry, Perry's getting some action on defense. She yep. clears it. Up the far side to Estella. Estella with a nice pass over to McDonald. McDonald back to Estella. Great pass there. Into the box. Shot. And it's knocked away by Hampsh. Yep. Mega White was hanging around the goal mouth. Whistle in favor of Hopedale. Less than a minute left to go. The Hiller is leading Hopedale three to one. What's that smell? Not sure. The smell of victory. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sharma. Hiller is going to keep the pressure on. McDonald. McDonald with a shot. Hampsh out. Go Hillers! Megan White once again. 32 seconds left. Another opportunity with an open net for the Hillers, and Megan White takes advantage of it. Uh, Piper Hamps, maybe I should send that YouTube video down to their coach down at Duke. <laughs> they little rippers. Scholarship away. No, I'm only kidding. That's written in stone. Maybe she's playing basketball there. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I heard she was playing field hockey. They do it down to the Carolinas soccer and well, field I must say, like, the, big. the Hillers are quick to swarm their defensive zone. I think they have great placement in their defensive zone. Hope little they'll... sense of urgency by Hope Till. There's only 14 seconds left, you know. Yeah. Ice it. I mean. <laughs> They're going to play for pride right now. Three seconds left. Two, one, and that'll do it. The Hopkinton Hillers improved a 2-0-1 on this season as they defeat the Hopedale Blue Raiders 4-1. It was Vani Sharma scoring the first goal with 26-23 left in the first half, assisted by Cam McDonald. Second goal scored by Sarah Doyle with 16-30 left in the first half. Then uh, the Blue Raiders put one in. Carly Smith scored, assisted by Zoe Athanasopoulos to make it a 2-1 to one game. And then in the second half, both Hillers goals by Megan White. She scored with 526 left and 32 seconds left. And the Hillers put the Hopedale Blue Raiders away to approve a 2-0-1 on the season. The Hillers remain undefeated. Two wins, no losses, one tie, five points. The final score for the final time. The Hopkinton Hillers 4, the Hopedale Blue Raiders 1. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. Take care. And for Matt Clark on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.